today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1778, Britain declares war on France. Also in 1778, on the same day, France recognizes the United States, and both France and the United States sign the Treaty of Alliance. In 1788, Massachusetts becomes the sixth state to ratify the U.S. Constitution. In 1820, the first organized immigration of blacks back to Africa from New York to Sierra Leone occurred. Also in 1820, the first 86 African-American immigrants sponsored by the American Colonization Society start a settlement in present-day Liberia. In 1836, the HMS Beagle and Charles Darwin arrive in Van Diemen's Land, or what we now call Tasmania. In 1839, the Night of the Big Wind destroys more than 20% of the houses in Dublin, Ireland. In 1840, New Zealand becomes a British colony. Many of the native Maori people claimed they were deceived into this agreement. In 1862, the U.S. Navy gives the Union its first victory of the war, capturing Fort Henry, Tennessee. In 1867, American financier and philanthropist George Peabody establishes the Peabody Education Fund, which provides improvements to existing schools in poor areas of the southern U.S. In 1869, Harper's Weekly Magazine publishes the first picture of Uncle Sam with a beard. In 1894, the bottle opener is patented by William Painter. Thanks, Bill! In 1895, American baseball player Babe Ruth is born. In 1899, the Treaty of Paris, a peace treaty between the United States and Spain, is ratified by the United States Senate, ending the Spanish-American War. In 1907, Maria Montessori opens her first school and daycare center for working-class children in Rome, Italy. In 1911, the 40th President of the United States, Ronald Reagan, is born. Also on this day, the first old-age home is opened in Prescott, Arizona. In 1912, Eva Braun is born. She was Adolf Hitler's wife. Yep, he had one. Also in 1912, New Mexico is admitted as the 47th U.S. state. In 1918, British women over the age of 30 get the right to vote. In 1921, Charlie Chaplin's movie The Kid is released. In 1928, a woman named Anna Anderson arrives in New York City using the alias Anastasia Tchaikovsky. She claims to be the Grand Duchess Anastasia, daughter of Tsar Nicholas II. She is not. In 1931, Thomas Edison submits his last patent application. In 1933, the 20th Amendment to the United States Constitution, which establishes the beginning and ending of the terms of elected federal offices, goes into effect. Also in 1933, a record minus 90 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 68 degrees Celsius, was measured in Oymyakon, Russia. In 1935, the Monopoly board game goes on sale for the first time. Also, today is the first election to allow women to vote in Turkey. In 1943, singer Frank Sinatra debuts on radio's Your Hit Parade. In 1947, Pan Am Airlines becomes the first commercial airline to schedule a flight around the world. In 1948, the first radio-controlled airplane is flown. In 1950, singer-songwriter Natalie Cole is born. In 1951, a Pennsylvania railroad passenger train called the Broker derails near Woodbridge Township, New Jersey. 85 people are killed and over 500 more are injured. The wreck is one of the worst rail disasters in American history. In 1952, Elizabeth II becomes Queen of the United Kingdom. In 1954, the great Bob Marley is born. In 1956, the University of Alabama suspends African-American student authoring Lucy, claiming that it can no longer provide for her safety while she's on campus. In 1958, future Baseball Hall of Fame outfielder Ted Williams becomes the highest paid player in MLB history to that point when he re-signs with the Boston Red Sox for $135,000. In 2022 money, that is about $1.3 million. In 1959, Jack Kirby receives a patent on the first microchip. In 1964, France and Great Britain sign an accord over building the Channel Tunnel, also known as the Channel. 
In 1965, The Righteous Brothers' You've Lost That Love and Feeling hits number one. In 1970, the NBA expands to 18 teams with Buffalo, Cleveland, Houston, and Portland joining the league. In 1971, American astronaut Alan Shepard is first to hit a golf ball on the moon. In 1974, in response to the 1973 oil crisis, daylight savings time begins nearly four months early in the United States. Also in 1974, the U.S. House of Representatives begins investigating grounds for impeachment of President Richard Nixon. In 1978, the blizzard of 1978, one of the worst nor'easters in New England history, hits the region with winds of 65 miles per hour and snowfall of four inches per hour. Also in 1978, the Holy Crown of Hungary is returned to Hungary from the United States, who had it since the end of World War II. In 1980, John Wayne Gacy goes on trial for the murder of 33 young men in Cook County, Illinois. In 1981, The Brady Brides debuts on NBC TV. Also in 1981, former Beatles Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison record a tribute to John Lennon. In 1982, the song Centerfold by the Jay Giles Band hits number one on the pop charts. In 1987, Justice Mary Godron is appointed to the High Court of Australia, the first woman to be appointed to this court. Also today, no smoking rules take effect in U.S. federal buildings. In 1989, the roundtable talks start in Poland, the beginning of the end of communism in Eastern Europe. In 1990, groundbreaking begins on the Baltimore Orioles' new $102 million stadium. In 1993, American tennis player Arthur Ashe dies of AIDS-related pneumonia. He was the first black man to win a Grand Slam championship. In 1994, Nancy Kerrigan is clubbed on the knee at the United States Figure Skating Championships in Detroit, Michigan. In 1995, a chemical fire in an apartment complex in Manila, Philippines, leads to the discovery of plans for a mass terrorist attack. In 1996, Bergen Air Flight 301 crashes with no survivors. It is the worst accident involving a Boeing 757 to date. Also in 1996, floods in the Willamette Valley of Oregon in the U.S. cause over $500 million in property damage throughout the Pacific Northwest. And another in 1996, rapper Tupac Shakur is sentenced to up to four and a half years in prison for a sexual assault conviction. In 1997, 32-year-old Diane Blood from Great Britain won the right to use her dead husband's sperm. In 1998, Washington National Airport is renamed Ronald Reagan National Airport. In 2000, Celia, the last Pyrenean Ibex, which was a wild goat in Spain and southern France, was found dead after a tree had landed on her. Also in 2000, the NFL Pro Bowl occurs at Aloha Stadium in Honolulu, Hawaii. The NFC beats the AFC 51 to 31. The MVP is Randy Moss of the Minnesota Vikings. In 2003, 50 Cent releases his album Get Rich or Die Trying, which becomes the 2003 Billboard Album of the Year. In 2012, Queen Elizabeth II marks the 60th anniversary of becoming the British monarch becoming only the second to do so. Also in 2012, Canadian singer-songwriter Gordon Lightfoot is presented with the Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal. In 2014, American comedian Jay Leno hosted his last episode of The Tonight Show. For real this time. In 2015, at the 46th NAACP Image Awards, Selma wins Outstanding Motion Picture. In 2018, the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket had its first test flight. In 2019, Quadriga, Canada's biggest cryptocurrency exchange, is unable to access $145 million of its Bitcoin assets after its CEO passes away and is the only person who knows the access passwords. And in 2020, as confirmed by the CDC, Today is the first COVID-19 related death in the United States. So I hope you've had a great February 6th so far, but there is still time to watch my videos. Hey, there they are, right in front of you. <laughs>